sharing with you today an interview with a gentleman that a friend of mine, Gunnar Simonson, and I had the opportunity to sit down with a few years ago. We were working on a movie called The Lost Medallion, The Adventures of Billy Stone. Great family film. Check it out if you have the opportunity to do so. Uh, and this individual um, was one of the key characters in the, this particular movie. And uh, we sat down with him and uh, his name is James Hong. Now that name may not ring a bell to many or maybe most, uh, but uh, I'm showing the picture here up on the screen side by side. And as you see that uh, the picture of James, you'll go, Oh, that guy. Yeah. That guy, the maitre d' from that episode in Seinfeld or, Oh, that guy in Big Trouble Little China or uh, the voice in Kung Fu Panda or one of the voices in Kung Fu Panda uh, or one of the many movies uh, with Chuck Norris, Humphrey Bogart, uh, that James uh, was a part of. I think over 500 films and TV and voiceover, um, well over 500 that he uh, participated in in some 60 years uh, a 60 year career. So we uh, came across this um, interview and thought I uh, would share this with you on a wider platform as we uh, transition here to the interview with actor James Hong. Well, uh, you know, I uh, played various uh, roles uh, uh, and roles like in Trinity Goodhart, which was played on uh, GMC uh, channel. Um, it, those are the good parts that I play in the sense of being the nice guy uh, and uh, uh, doing something with a message. Th those are always helpful. Can you stay for a while? Are you here to tell us a story? A story? It, it sort of like reminds you what films are all about and what films can do and of course for a livelihood i do all the movies from uh, blade runner uh, and uh, chuck norris uh, uh, i worked with him and charlton heston all these great actors uh, even dating back to um, uh, clark gable um, so it's been a wonderful career in blade runner working with wonderful actors and directors and Big Trouble Little China and Golden Child, um, uh, to, to name just a very few. Okay, I've got a story. Yes. This story is called The Lost Medallion. Today is my, um, let's see, I forgot already, 84th birthday. So uh, I'm born on George Washington's uh, birthday, the real birthday, not the president's uh, day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and so I've been in the industry, like I say, 60 years and done probably, I would estimate 500 films and TV features and um, TV episodes on camera. And that's not including the voiceovers. I've done for Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2, and maybe number 3 coming up. But certainly on the TV series, I've been uh, uh, on many episodes. And like, um, oh, uh, what's that? A lot of Disney things, like, um, forgot the name of it. <laughs> These Disney things come quite often. Uh, so it's been just a joyful career. I started out as a civil engineer, mind you. Uh, uh, back in 1953, after a year and a half of uh, civil engineering, I gave it up because the films just kept pouring, and I said, i got to give it a try. Yeah. So it's a lesson to be learned in life. You really have to pursue what you love, and that will dictate where you're going to go in your life. I told you just to wish it back! <laughs> Billy learned that his greatest value came from God. And the most important thing he could ever do was to trust his heart to the one who created it. My heart is my medallion. You know, I, I like to talk to the young people out there who are interested in acting or just the performing arts. 
If there's something about you that wants to perform, whether it's singing or dancing, you want to express your feelings, you want to perform, what else can I say? And that's the way I felt when I was uh, growing up. But my parents, want, being very Chinese, wanted me to be a, either a doctor, lawyer, or engineer. So I chose engineering. And I graduated from USC as an engineer. But that spirit of wanting to perform just made me pursue that route. So it goes back to what you want to do in life again. <clears throat> of course, your desire plus your talent and your drive and your soul will determine where you're going to go. But you have to be true to yourself. You have to really want to do it and dedicate yourself because I sacrificed a lot of uh, play time and just study and uh, went to classes and uh, perform on stage, whether it's pay or not, for the love of it, you know, to create. And because of those early experiences, I picked up a lot of knowledge here and in here. And now I use that, that whole wealth of uh, uh, experience in the art of uh, performing, uh, of expression. It's like painting. You, you can't just say, okay, here's a canvas, I'm going to put some paint on there. What, what the, what, what's the paint? What, what are you doing? You know, you have to search to say, what have I got to say in life? And then say it in the way that you know how. Yeah, well, I hope you'll get a chance to see my new life documentary. Uh, it's called A Man of Thousand Faces at Present Time. And it's all about my adventure of uh, being born in Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I still have that Swedish accent. Yeah, I do. We, are, we come from Minnesota. We are good people. So, <laughs> so the whole thing about Minnesota and uh, as a child, how I became an actor in, in church, of course, Pressminster Press Church. Uh, uh, and from that time, it just kept on growing. So that's my documentary coming out very soon. And of course, if you want to find out everything about me, just go to my Facebook, James Hong page. I'll see you there. Allie, you may have been an accident to your mother, but you were no accident to God. Why would you die for me? Because a great king once died for me. Uh, it's an incredible film and a great family movie that I'm sure your families will in thoroughly enjoy. So check it out wherever movies are streaming. James Hong does a great job as Felica in the film. And as you can see, uh, there's a few other familiar faces in this, uh, in this film. So again, check it out. Enjoy the movie as a family. So check us out on our channel, YouTube channel, as well as. So with that, signing off from the studio here in Portland, Oregon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us for Two Pastors Popcorn in a Movie. We enjoy talking about movies and shows that are coming to a theater and or streaming. We'll be back next time with more incredible interviews and movie news. And amazing information. Popcorn. Want some more popcorn? I would love some more popcorn. Take some more popcorn. Yeah, let's go get some more popcorn. Okay, we'll see you later.